Fate's Grand Order is a game in which any servant is usable. Despite their low rarity, the 1, 2, and particularly 3 star cohorts boast an impressive array of heroic spirits. While many of these will eventually find themselves outclassed by their higher rarity peers in terms of pure stats and sheer raw power, many of them have excellent skills or fulfil specific niches that will see them retain their value long after your Chaldea has been graced by multiple gold servants. These are the three star superstars. These were the words of the famed Roman general, dictator, and conqueror, Gaius Julius Caesar, who comes spin dashing into Fate's Grand Order, having lost two stars, and somehow finding himself in the Sabre class. Yet despite his low rarity and obviously ill-fitting class, this skilled rhetorician is a solid secondary support option, and potentially lethal quick boss killer. Caesar's primary role is that of a high damage single target boss killer. This is exclusively through his noble phantasm, Protea Morse. An impressive attack that at NP5 can rival even 5 star Saber noble phantasms at lower NP levels. Making use of only his own self buffs, Protea Morse can easily register over 75,000 damage against Lancers and Berserkers. This is further and dramatically buffed if he is used alongside the goddess of quick herself, Skatach Skadi. She not only provides a much needed NP battery of up to 50%, but through primordial rule, tremendously increases Caesar's quick damage, including that of his noble phantasm. She's also able to debuff all enemies' defense, giving Caesar an even softer target to swing his sword at. And in the case of a double Stardy lineup, <laughs> further still, Caesar is only set to improve in future. Provisionally expected in early 2022, Caesar's NP damage will be buffed even further through a new luck based buff. This can allow Caesar to buff his own attack damage up to 5 times as part of his NP, amounting to as much as a 50% boost in Caesar's attack damage prior to the NP landing. Even better, this applies to all of Caesar's subsequent attacks that turn. Of course, they might miss completely, but when they hit, Caesar gains access to lethal boss killing potential. Early in the game, Caesar can function as an effective primary boss killer of Lancers and Berserkers, but over time is likely to settle into a comfortable secondary boss killing role, as Master summons stronger single target Saber servants. This also ties in well with his second highlighted role, that of a utility support. Known for his charisma, legendary oratorical skills and tactical prowess, Caesar's second role is quite naturally that of a secondary support, a niche that often nicely complements his status as either the primary or particularly secondary boss killing damage dealer. Reflecting his talents, his first two skills are tactics and charisma, party wide buffs which improve NP damage and general damage respectively. While both of these skills are rather basic and far too broad to designate him as a primary support in the same way as more niche focused servants such as Caster Gildamesh or the aforementioned Skadi. It is ideal for a secondary support, whose skills are general enough to be beneficial in almost any lineup. It also makes Caesar very beginner friendly, as masters do not have to go out of their way to create a hyper focused team for any one niche, at a time when their servant roster is likely too thin to do so. Perhaps the most controversial aspect of Caesar's kit, however, is his potential as a crit damage support through his third, final, and unique skill, Insight. Insight provides up to a 40% critical buff to one ally, 
in addition to boosting their critical star drop rate and decreasing their defense by 20%. As a quick servant himself, Caesar could theoretically make use of this skill, although his command card distribution, in addition to his low hit count, makes him a relatively poor star generator. However, whilst the critical strength buff and increase in star drop sounds good in theory, it is rather less useful in practice. This is because it lacks one crucial element. Rather than increasing critical star drop rate, it would be far better if the skill increased critical star gather rate. While the critical damage buff is notable, this lack of gather rate means there is no guarantee the buffed servant will actually be able to attract the necessary stars to exploit their newfound critical damage. That said, there is a small exception to this that applies to servants who have a critical star gather rate skill. Examples include Prince Rama and Okita Soji. That said, the lack of a critical star gather rate feature to Insight remains a tremendous flaw that holds back Caesar from certifiably being a crit support servant. Gaius Julius Caesar is a competent boss killer, whose secondary support role justifies his inclusion in teams up until he can unleash his noble phantasm upon a high health enemy. He works best as a secondary boss killing option alongside the secondary supporting niche, making him the ideal role player for any anti-lancer team. That said, the generality of his skills also makes him a versatile option in other lineups, although he is held back in the long term by this same lack of niche focus. While the heroic spirit of Caesar's notoriety should undoubtedly be a gold servant, and perhaps that may be on the horizon, Saber Gaius Julius Caesar is a worthy servant and earns his place as a three-star superstar. I've been Soon Jeans. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I really want to know who are your three-star superstars. The next episode of the series will be out next Wednesday. I look forward to seeing you then. I've been Soon Dunes. Thank you for watching.